Hello, welcome back to the Watford Way. Today, as we are here to talk about another brand new signing in this January transfer window. So far, Watford have brought in Matthias Martins, is Marcone, and now the third signing of the January transfer window is, of course, Joao Ferreira, the 21-year-old right back coming into Watford from Benfica, a Benfica Academy graduate. And I think it's important we talk about how we actually got to Watford in the first place, because obviously um, this season we've kind of you know restructured our whole scouting department and the way we operate in regards to transfers. Ever since Rob Edwards left, it feels like there's been a bit of a revolution at Watford in terms of the actual structure and hierarchy at the club, which hopefully is a good thing moving forward. So Gino Pozzo essentially brought in two people to oversee scouting and transfers and basically bringing new players into the club. And them two people are Helena Costa and Ben Manga. Now, I think the most important person in this transfer deal specifically is probably Helena, Helena Costa because she actually used to be a coach, I believe, at Benfica's academy. Um, and for me, that seems to be the, where the link is with this one. Obviously, Watford don't necessarily need a right back. I think other positions um, in this January transfer window were probably higher on the priority list for Slavan Bilic. But in terms of the profile of player, uh, you know, he can play multiple positions. He can play right wing if really necessary, right back, left back, anywhere across the back line, really, he can do a job. You look at his age, he's 21 years old. He's got a good height. He's got good pace. Um, so in terms of the actual profile of a player, I think we've probably gone gone for the right type here. But I just think for me, the frustrating thing is Slavan Bilic made a comment in his press conference saying he's never actually heard of this player in, in Joao Ferreira. Um, obviously, he's probably happy he's got another body through the door. But it would be nice if Ben Manga and Helena Costa would consult with Slavan Bilic around who we are going to bring in. Because I think that's key to... To a good relationship, isn't it? You've got Gino Pozzo, who obviously owns the club. Slavan Bilic is the manager. And then you've got Helena Costa and Ben Manga, who are trying to rebuild the squad and, and hopefully get us promoted this season. Um, I think the wrong thing to do would be just bring loads and loads of bodies through the door and hope they work. I think some consultation, uh, consultation with Slavan Bilic would be beneficial. But Joao Ferreira has arrived. And it actually said on the Watford website here, uh, Ferreira will join training immediately and becomes eligible to feature for, for next weekend's game at Blackpool, um, against Blackpool at home at Vicarage Road, which is obviously what we need. I know Matthias Martins has had a few issues with his work permit. Um, that's been going on for a few days now, which meant he couldn't feature in the game today against Reading. Um, but yeah, you know, another signing through the door, very positive. But as I said earlier, I think we need to target, especially the midfield area, maybe left back we can look at as well. Obviously, Ken Semek can deputise there when he's not injured. Kamara suspended still for the next couple of games. So I think left back, um, maybe another attacking player and another midfielder is key for me in this January transfer window. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below as well. Are you a Benfica fan watching this video? Do you have any uh, tips, thoughts, advice on how Joao Ferreira plays? Again, let us know in the comments down below and please subscribe to Watford Way as well. It would be much appreciated and I'll see you in another video very, very soon. Bye-bye.